Hi, I'm Jennifer Ross. I'm a DIY retailer here in Northwest Arkansas near Fayetteville. And I have to tell you, I've been married 23 years and you know it doesn't get any easier to know what to give your spouse um, as a present. So um, he's come up with some pretty interesting things. The last gift that I got was actually a train horn that he's going to put in my minivan. So <laughs> watch out traffic because I now I'm equipped with a train horn. So it's crazy stuff, crazy stuff. But um, I am a creative and I like to experiment with different ways to create things. And so um, I'm gonna be painting today, but not with um, paint as my main source of artistic medium. It's going to be more um, bleach actually. So um, if you're a photographer, you can paint with light. If you're a painter, you can paint with either paint or water. And there's just different ways to achieve a goal. You could use about anything for a stencil. Just be creative. Um, if your significant other is hard to shop for, then um, just look around the house, see what you could use as a stencil. And by all means, please be careful when using bleach. And um, there's different ways that you can apply it onto a shirt. And so I'm actually gonna be trying the bleach pen today. And then I have it in two different sprayers. I have a fine mister and a regular spray bottle right here. And there's different things that you could do with that. You could achieve different shading methods with bleach. There are all kinds of artistic mediums to use. Bleaching and dyeing fabric can create wonderful designs, but please be aware of the precautions and practice these safety tips. The gift I'm gonna be creating for my husband today actually has to do with our business. He helps a lot and he is really coming into his own skill with um, being a carpenter. So I wanted to do something um, in a way that it could, he could wear it out and it would still look stylish and kind of hip and um, it could actually advertise our business. I'm going to be using this as a inspiration. So this is a tree growth ring pattern that I found on the internet and um, I will be using the bleach pen for that and also for my lettering. And then the spray, you could actually place different objects onto the shirt. Um, so I'm gonna be using, and these are kind of sharp, <laughs> um, I'm gonna be using a couple of interesting looking saw blades. Um, they come in different sizes, different patterns, and this actually will make um, a really cool shirt. And I also have a square. So I'm gonna set this aside and what you're going to want to do to protect the back side of the shirt and not let the bleach soak through is actually don't soak it. Um, use a little bit at a time, see if it's working, but also um, find something like kind of hard where the shirt can stretch out over it. This is just a canvas that has the plastic still on it. And you're gonna be wanting to protect the back of your shirt because you just don't want like a bleached blob in the back. And so the way to do that is just to put it over something. Get some clothespins if it's kind of a bigger shirt and just pull it tight over something that will protect the bleach from soaking through to the back, like so. I actually printed off a cool font and I'm gonna be looking at this as I write out my lettering get some painters tape or something just to keep you um, level and you're just going to kind of plan out um, how you're going to want your lettering and where the placement for everything is important because really you only got one shot so <laughs> having a plan and tools you need such as paper or chalk to lay out your lettering will ensure your design will turn out just the way you want it so I use chalk a lot when I'm painting, so why not use it when I'm painting with bleach? And so this way, writing it on a piece of paper, um, I can see how much room I'm gonna have before I actually do it. The bleach pen is easy to use for lettering or drawing. Just remember to be careful. Rinse your hands if you get any on you, or wear gloves if you're sensitive.
I did run out of room on my paper template for the word conquered, but it was all good because I had plenty of room on my shirt. As you add to your design, letting other areas dry, you can draw directly on the fabric using chalk as your outline. Now I'm gonna get started with the bleach pen. So I'm gonna start in the center, put that on there. And like I said, the chalk is just for an outline. I found the clumps the bleach pen left behind useful. I feathered them out with a small brush. Now I am at the bottom of my shirt and I went ahead and put another canvas down here to protect the back side of the shirt. And you're going to be laying out um, your tools or whatever stencils you use, whatever pattern you use um, at this point. Your pattern will determine what type of sprayer you'll want to use, a fine mister or one that allows more spray to come out. Remember not to soak the fabric if you want crisp lines from your stencils. After I bleached my design, I rinsed off the dried clumps from the pen and washed and dried the shirt with a load of work clothes. Now I'm ready to accentuate my design with DIY paint. I just love how versatile it is. It acts as dye on the fabric. You'll want to spray the shirt with water and then choose a brush. I used a stiff bristled brush to mimic the fine lines of the growth rings. I chose coordinating colors to highlight the details in my design. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this project. Please go on over to Scenic Route Painting Outside the Lines to subscribe there. And until then, take care and I'll see you on the Scenic Route. Bye-bye.